The FDA recently approved something called the Gummy Bear Breast Implant. We're going to share more right after this quick break. Handle with care, Javi. Handle with care. Okay, ladies. If you're thinking about getting a little enhancement, we want you to hear this. There is a new implant just approved by the FDA. It's being referred to as the gummy bear implant. We have Dr. Daniel Shapiro joining us this morning to explain what's different about this. You may have heard about it in the media lately. Good morning. Morning. I love that we have a couple of um, very visual examples of the gummy bear, the gummy okay? Bear. But you brought examples of, of the traditional silicone breast implant and what's now being called the gummy bear implant. That's right. Uh, so basically, the implants have been around for a while, uh, general implants. Okay. Uh, saline, uh, a lot of people know about. That's the one filled with, uh, with water. Okay. The, the standard silicone implants are round implants, and they've been around for also quite a while. Um, they're fantastic, but there are limitations to them. And, and the first limitation is that, that there are not that many different shapes for a particular size of implant that we're looking for, uh -huh. okay? The other problem with them, and it's not a problem, but the other limitation, if you will, is that they are teardrop shaped when you're standing, but the problem with that is that the top of them lose the volume, mm -hmm. okay? And, so, and after how much time? Well, it's just by virtue of when you stand, just the shape, they get thicker on the bottom and they lose the volume on top, so that can We can, can thank make, gravity for that, ladies, there you go. okay? And, and basically what happens is when someone stands up, that's why it looks like you're not as full on top, uh -huh. all right? Um, and again, they don't really maintain the shape, if you will, so when I put an implant in a woman, uh, uh, for a round silicone implant, if you will, the breast shapes the implant. So all I'm doing is adding volume to okay. the breast. So, the so difference... its genetics actually play a role in that they, kind of an implant. They do. Okay. They do. They do. Uh, and and the the newer implant, the gummy bear implant, which gets its name because a gummy bear, if you will, uh, is soft but it holds its shape. Right. So if uh, you were to tear it apart, like if we can if get a close-up shot, uh -huh, if we were to cut this with a knife. It would, uh, you'd have two separate halves and they'd be soft, but they'd hold the shape. Sure. So that's where these implants come in. And these have been FDA approved. These are Natrel, which is made by Allergan, uh -huh. which is one of the three implant companies in the, in the country. But these were FDA approved about a week and a half ago. Wow. Yeah, and, and they've been in Europe for the last 20 years. Uh -huh. Uh, Why and, would it take so long to get it approved well, here? Well, that's the States. United States. Is FDA is really tough. Okay. They've and been considering all the problems that we saw with silicone well, in the 70s. Yeah, they're well, there really careful. was no problem with silicone that oh. we, we feel because there's no cause and effect relationship between silicone and okay. disease. So basically, they've been tested in the last 10 years in the United States. Yeah. And now, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of, of patients have been very, very happy with these. And why they're so fantastic is that, that basically the track record in the last 10 years is that they leak less, mm -hmm. they hold their shape better, they tend to fold less. So if you have a, a, a round silicone implant, you can see how it will fold. Yeah. And sometimes that you can feel that through the skin. And basically these look and feel more natural. Interesting. They're not for everybody though. Why? Well, since they're firmer, if somebody has some laxity to their breast, some, some droopiness, uh -huh. it really won't hold its shape as well in that breast. Okay. So the best candidate for this implant is somebody who has little to no breast tissue or has some asymmetry in the breast. Mm -hmm. Because what's so cool about these implants is that in, in the round implants, for every size, there are three different shapes that we can use as opposed to the new gummy bear that there are actually 12 different configurations of a particular size. So I can really tailor the breast implant to that breast. Okay. So as opposed to these implants where the breast seems to shape the implant, yeah. these implants can actually shape the breast. Well, there you go. There you go. So when you see those beautiful, beautiful breasts that you see wherever uh, that are nicely teardropped uh, and, and look very natural, uh, kind of keeps you wondering. So these are the implants that can really provide that kind of breast. All right. Well, on that note, Dr. Shapiro, we're going to take go. a quick break. Feeling a little sassy around here. For more information on today's show, maybe about the gummy bear implants, just click on our hotline.